Hi, welcome to Windstar World Casino. Today we're going to talk about a really great game. The game is called Baccarat. Now, a lot of people walk by and see this game and they don't really know what to think about it. But Baccarat is super easy and super fun to play. So we're just going to talk a little bit about the rules and how it works. And hopefully the next time you stop by, you might want to give Baccarat a try. Baccarat is really simple. And as a player in Baccarat, you have only two decisions to make. The two decisions to make are what do I bet on and how much do I bet. The reason is, unlike a game like blackjack where as a player you have decisions which affect the outcome of your hand, in Baccarat the only decisions you bet make are which one do I bet on because in every hand one of these three is going to win and the cards are going to follow a certain set of rules no matter what you as a player do. So as a player you don't make decisions on what happens with the cards, you only choose which one of the three options you think is going to win. The way I like to think of Baccarat is kind of like a toss of a coin. If you toss a coin up in the air, when the coin lands, it's going to be either heads or tails. In Baccarat, it's basically the same thing. If you look at the layout, you'll see two betting circles. One here, which says player, and one here, which says the bank. Every hand, the cards will come out, follow a certain set of rules, and most of the time, either the player or the banker will win. Occasionally in Baccarat, based on the rules and the way the cards come out, you're going to have what's called a tie. And that's when the score of the two hands are going to be the same. And that's this bar you see right here. Because ties don't happen very much, when they do and you bet on tie, you get paid eight to one. So ties are kind of fun. What I'm going to do is just basically run a couple of Baccarat hands through for you, explain the way the point values work, and uh, hopefully you'll get a feel for the game and how it, how it runs. Now, when you play Baccarat, you're going to see the dealer with the shoe, and he's going to bring cards out like this. The first card out will come over here, the next card he will tuck in under the shoe, then another card here, and another card here. These two cards will go to the player. The player is the betting circles you see here. Now, one thing I want to explain because a lot of people get confused about this is that the player doesn't necessarily represent you, the player. And the other circle, which you see labeled bank, doesn't represent the house. They're just like heads and tails of a coin. The player's cards are always turned over first. In Baccarat, point values are essentially what the cards say but any value of 10 is zero. <clears throat> now in this case, the player turned over an ace and a seven. The ace is worth one, the seven is worth seven, so the player has a total of eight. The bank has a nine and a seven. Now that would be 16 in blackjack, but in Baccarat, because values of 10 are always zero, the nine and the seven for 16 is worth six. So in this hand, the player has eight and the bank has six. Now, in Baccarat, the best hand you can get is a 9 because that's the highest total that any two cards could total without a value of 10 is 9. Let's take a look at a natural 9. Here's a natural 9. The reason I call it a natural is because also, like the 8, which is also a natural, the hand will stop when one of these two totals comes up. Kind of like in blackjack, when you get a blackjack, you don't have to draw any more cards. You automatically win. Now, the only thing that can beat a natural eight is a natural nine. But in this hand, the hand we just dealt, the player wins with a natural eight over six. If you'd bet on the player, we're going to pay you. And all bets in Baccarat, with the exception of the tie, which pays eight to one, pay even money. So if you bet five dollars on the player, that's what you'd be paid. On the bank, if you bet five dollars on the bank and win, we're going to take a commission out. The reason being is because the odds in Baccarat are really close to 50-50, kind of like that toss of the coin we were talking about. But the bank has a slight advantage. So anytime you bet on the bank and win, you have to pay a commission. The commission goes back to the game, and it's 5% of your bet. So if you were to bet, say, $10 on the bank and win, you'd have to pay a commission of 50 cents back to the game. Now, let's run through a couple of hands and talk some more about how the points work. The really great thing about this game is just like in betting on the toss of a coin, you don't really have to know how the rules work. 
If you do have a question about the rules, anyone here at the, the WinStar is more than happy to help you and explain what's going on on the table. But if you just want to try a few hands and play, like I said, you don't have to be an expert in the rules. All you have to do is pick which one of these three you think is going to win and bet on it. Here comes another hand. Let's see what we get. In this case, the player shows another natural eight. That's a natural, and that means we won't draw any more cards. The bank has four, so in this case, the player wins natural eight over four. If you bet on the player this time, you would have won. Let's play another one. This time, the player shows five. I know it's a jack and a five for 15, but remember, all values of 10 count as zero. So in this case, the player shows five. What does the bank have? The bank has a natural eight this time. So the cards stop, the bank wins natural eight over five, and if you bet on the bank, you'd win less the commission. So a $10 winning bet on the bank, you would have to pay 50 cents back to the game. Now, as I said, the cards have rules they have to follow, and naturals don't come up every hand. So occasionally, in fact, most of the time, you're going to have to draw more cards. Let's look at a hand. Player shows two. The bank has one. This is a hand that's great for illustrating the fact that we're going to draw more cards because neither the player nor the bank will stand on a two or a one. In this case, the player two, the bank one, the player's going to draw another card. Remember, all values of 10 are worth nothing. So in this case, the player remains at 2. The bank will draw a card. The bank draws a 6 for a total of 7. So in this hand, the bank wins 7 over 2, and we're going to pay the bank. Remember, you don't have to be an expert in the rules. The dealer knows the rules. The cards follow the rules. So